Welcome back. We have crossed the chessboard, the first obstacle in our way. But it looks like we are not out of the woods yet. We have an interesting room here with a blade pendulum. Then we all reminded of uh, Indiana Jones in the Last Crusade. Now I know why the Knights Templar were persecuted. They were sadists. More pyramids. It'd be handy if that's an exit, but I don't think it is. Nope. Probably not that easy. I guess we have to do something with that pillar. I can't see it that well from here. I have a feeling I'm supposed to get over there. Oh, uh, yeah, right. That may be, um, somewhat complicated. Hmm, well, we have a rotating ring, a deadly pendulum. There's absolutely no way any of this can go wrong, can it? Well, I guess we should get out on the ring, see what happens. Maybe we should talk to Grace. I could ask her what to do about a 50-pound blade that's ready to slice me like a hunk of salami, but why should we both be scared shitless? Good point. It seems to reach that site whenever you are at exactly the same um, time as the symbols on the ring, so let's try and stand on a symbol. See if we can do anything with the pendulum that way. Because, yeah, you can move around and stuff. Oh, hey, look, there's the exit. I don't have time for that now. Not that we could get there anyway, it's kind of a long drop. Let's see what happens. I have a feeling this is not going to end well, but let's try it anyway. <laughs> yep, that did not end well, as I predicted. Okay, we do want to use the pendulum to try and get to that pillar. But preferably without getting sliced. So instead of standing on a symbol, let's stand behind one. And hopefully... We can... Ah! Damn it, I was too late. What I was doing was correct, but I was doing it wrong. You need to grab onto the pendulum, but the timing of it is kind of sensitive. There we go. Okay, well at least that's put her out of immediate danger, but I guess we have to jump down somehow. I'm starting to really hate this place. Also, it lo really looked like he missed, didn't he? <laughs> didn't it? Uh, but apparently we did make it. What the hell do we have here? Looks like a weighted scale to me. Looks like a weighted scale to me. Gold ingots. I could just pick them up and try to go home, but I have a feeling this room would be prepared to stop me. I'm guessing we have to match that somehow? Let's see what happens. We put things on the scale. Um. That didn't sound right, now did it? Is that supposed to happen? Uh, 
Um, I'm guessing that's a no. Man. Okay, we're gonna need some expert help with this. Gracie, can you give me a rundown on the meaning of the circle? It represents eternity, fertility, and perfection. Uh, okay. Okay, eternity, fertility, and perfection. Now this uh, part either requires you to have a long memory or to reload and go back to a place where you can use Sydney to check this. Because um, the actual solution to this puzzle was presented in the Sydney article on Alchemy the Circle. It said, symbols that are sometimes used to represent the circle include the egg, unity, the pomegranate, fertility, and the infinity symbol, infinity. So those are the ones we need to put on the the skills. So we have the uh, egg. Note that since the pendulum does not lower if you put the correct symbols on there, it's pretty easy to get this by trial and error as well. The pomegranate was the second one. And the infinity symbol, which is this sideways eight. Hey! You know, these puzzles are really reminding me of Uru. Works for me. Kadish Talisa, in particular. I don't hear anything. Just walking. There's something I've been wondering. I, I read about the vampires looking for the wandering Jew. He really exists, doesn't he? And it has something to do with the blood of Jesus? Uh, yes, Grace. But it's not the way the legends claim, is it? Jesus cursing someone to go on. No. The vampires didn't get the blood of Jesus. But someone else did. Oh, yes. Ali, the headmaster's son, was among those who accompanied Jesus back to Jerusalem. For three years, he watched Jesus teach. It was, well, amazing. But in the end, neither he nor his father could stop Jesus from his course. The day of the crucifixion, Ali's father was so ill with grief that he had to be carried from Golgotha. Only Ali was left to keep vigil. Ali could not believe it was ending. All the promise of the Kanosh Kanaya, all the centuries of planning were being destroyed. Jesus was allowing it to be destroyed. Something in him rebelled. He remembered Sine's words, and in his grief and rage, he thought he might be able to save the blood in himself. He did not mean to become the Kanosh Kanaya. You must understand that. He simply could not watch that hope spill into the ground. So he drank it. Why hast thou forsaken me? Your fingertips are worn smooth. But I don't get it. If you've got the power of the Kenosh Kanaya, why didn't you stop the vampires a long time ago? I promised my father I would not use the power. Never. Not for anything. It is not mine to use. Oh, it was the only way I could live with what I had done. Never? Not for anything? No, Grace. Not for anything. But that must be... That must be... It is all right. There is work to be done. Do you hear anything now? Damn it! Can we stop with the fallen stuff already? <sighs> okay. I guess there was another drop there. And it seems that... Uh, sorry. It seems that... Emilio is the wandering Jew. Who the funk? The guy is old, and that also explains why we did not find any fingerprints for him. Because he doesn't have any anymore. That must make it really difficult for him to get uh, through airport security. Because most countries take your fingerprints, or most countries, at least Japan and the US do. <laughs> well, anyway, the, they take your fingerprints when you try to enter the country nowadays. Let's see what we have here. Another uh, puzzle, I suppose. King Solomon. I wonder what he's got to do with this place. What's his temple? 
Um, let's radio Grace. Hey, Gracie, I've just entered a new area, and there's a statue of Solomon here. Ring any bells? It's probably going to deal with the hexagram, the seal of Solomon. Hexagrams represent duality. Light and dark, good and evil, you know, that kind of thing. Hold on. Right. Emilio says initiates are taught that duality is an illusion. So be careful. Things might not be what they appear. Great. Thanks. Boy, that was helpful. Things might not be what they appear. Again, I'm reminded of Kadish to Lisa. Um, let's see. Latin. Guess I gotta figure out what that says. Pentum initiantibus sacrorum signi superasulicet. Well, my Latin isn't good enough, so let's ask Grace. Grace, I need a translation. I think it's Latin. Pentum initiantibus sacrorum signi superesse licet. Okay, let me see. It means beware. Only the initiates of the mysteries of the seal may survive. Is everything going okay? Piece of cake. Piece of very dangerous cake. Um, let's see. Oh, I think we found the hexagram. Why are some of these places so dark? It's too dark to do anything in there. I guess we need to deal with the light ones first. Let's see what we have. More Latin, by the looks of things. More Latin. What does that say? Um, Illiga Unum. I think I can guess what that means. But anyway. Gracie, what does Illiga Unum mean? Emilio says it means choose one. Choose one. Fire or water. Hmm. It looks like water. <laughs> I don't smell anything. Oh, look, there's something inside it. There's a stone at the bottom. How about this side? I could be mistaken, but that sure looks a lot like fire. There's a stone in the bottom of that one, too. There's a stone at the bottom. Hmm. Well, I guess if this is water, it should be safe. <laughs> nope. Not safe. Um, it's actually quicker to restore. The well, if things are not what they appear, maybe the fire is safe. <laughs> Need I say it? That didn't work. Well, I didn't really think it was going to be that easy. Okay, well, maybe we need something else. Let's see what we have here. Choose one. Funny. I don't think that's as simple as it sounds. Two gauntlets. That one's pretty hip. I wonder if that's real gold. Well, if things are not what they seem, I'm guessing no. Not exactly something you wear to the opera. Well, we need to choose one, and since things are not what they seem, I'm guessing the least obvious one. Besides, gold conducts temperature pretty well, so that's actually what we don't need. It's not a good insulator. Um, let's see, maybe that allows us to get one of these stones. Again, the easiest one to get seems to be the water one. But, if things are not what they seem, I'm saying we go with this one. Got it! That worked! Now the question is, what do we do with that? Where's Gabriel going? Oh. 
He's putting the glove back. Sure, why not? Let's see what we have. It's the stone from the basin. Pretty unremarkable. Well, it looks yellow. Could be gold, I guess, but who knows? We have one arm left, one lit arm anyway. Elige Magistrum. Gee, Morris Latinus. Those knights were well educated, weren't they? Uh, it's choose something. Let's ask Grace. Grace, can you translate Elige Magistrum? Hold on. Yeah, it means choose a master. Thanks. Choose a master. This guy looks earthy and dangerous. Looks kind of demony. I think. I think I don't know what to think anymore. Oh, that's helpful. I'm not sure which of these two I like the least. This one looks like he should be blocking the Garden of Eden. So that's an angel. That's a demon. We're all sticking with the theme of um, things not being what they seem. Let's choose the the demon. But how do we do that? Maybe we need to shake his hand or something. You shake it. I can't do that. I'm not in that game. Okay, so that's not it. Well, they're holding up their hand. Maybe we need to give them something, like the stone. Well, that did something. Indeed, it did. We have three more alcoves that are now lit up. The other ones are now dark. So, we need to decide what to do with it. What's this? Another choice. Grace, I've got another one. Elige VM. Choose a path. Okie dokie. Choose a path? There is no path. Alright, I guess we'll have to look at the others first. Agnoske natura mentis tue. Hmm. Ready for another one? Agnoske naturam mentis tue. Identify the nature of your mind. Want any hints? Uh, no. Thank you. So, let's see what we've got here. The sun. Okay. It's a stylized beast. I know what you're thinking. You might even be right. It's a yin yang symbol. The Templars must have picked that up in Asia. Hmm. Well, the nature of the mind was supposed to be duality, according to all of this uh, mumbo-jumbo we read. So I suppose it's that one. And what do we have on this side? Agnoske naturam corporas tui. Hmm. Here's another one for you. Agnoske naturam corporas tui. Checking. Here, it reads, identify the nature of your body. Where are you? Well, it ain't Kansas. I'll buzz you later. How do we do that? It looks like I'm supposed to point that thing at one of those two devices. Let's see what those two devices are. I think it's a mirror, but it's tilted toward the ceiling. Let's see what this is. Looks like something to step on. The question is, do I want to step on it? Well, I guess we have to try. All right, here goes. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, I need one of these at home. 
Okay. That leaves us with... A choice between Alts and Young. But I think that's a choice we'll have to make in the next video.